TV KPM Hi teacher, happy di Bali. Hi Chris, happy di Bali. Come oh. join my open house. Sure, sure, sure. Eh, teacher, what is that on the floor? Why is that rice on the floor? Ah, Chris, that rice is not to be eaten. Oh. That rice is to make column. Column? What is column, teacher? If you want to know, I will let you know after this. Okay, but first, let's eat. Come. Okay, thank you. Oh, wow, so many. Welcome to Pra Sekolah with me, Chris MJ. And today, we will be learning Bahasa Inggris. But before we proceed with today's lesson, I do want to welcome uh, teacher Aida as our sign language interpreter for today's episode. Hi, teacher. Okay. And, of course, we also have Teacher Krishna. Hi, teacher. Hi, Chris. Okay, so teacher, I see so many snacks over here. I see some rice on the floor. What are we learning today, teacher? Okay, today we are going to learn about Dipavali, <gasps> which is also called Festival of Lights. Festival of Lights. Okay, yes. I want to ask my friends, is everybody ready for today's lesson? If you are ready, give me a thumbs up. Yes! Okay, teacher, everybody is ready. Shall okay. we begin today's lesson? Okay, today we are going to listen to a story, uh, Chris. But before that, I okay. would like to uh, introduce you all the words that uh, we always hear during Dipavali season. Okay? Okay. okay. Uh, let's start with the clothes. Okay? Okay, we have, uh, during Dipavali, we have clothes uh, worn by uh, Indian people. Uh, Ladies or mm -hmm. Indian girls, okay. It's called salwar kameez, okay. Salwar kameez, salwar kameez okay. okay. Uh, it's a cloth uh, worn by Indian ladies, and okay. it has pants. It comes with a pants, a okay. pair of pants, and then we also have a kurta. Kurta, oh. kurta is worn by. Uh, it's a traditional attire for Indian. A man, okay, ah, Indian man. So we have nice. kurta. Kurta is usually uh, worn with pants or dhoti. Do you know what is dhoti? I don't know, teacher. What okay. is dhoti? Dhoti is uh, a cloth uh, okay. wrapped around uh, an Indian man's waist. Okay. Ah, uh, not okay. only that, we have pavade. I believe. Many of you haven't heard of uh, this word. Pavade. Okay, pavade is worn by uh, Indian girls, little girls. Ah, okay? okay, it comes okay. with a blouse. Okay. okay, this is the blouse. Okay, pavade comes with a blouse. All right. And also we have uh, jippa for the uh, men and also boys, small mm. boys. They have jippa. It has pants, a pair of pants inside. Okay. Uh, and they have different types of 
pants. Okay. I see. These are the uh, mostly uh, used clothes on Deepavali day. The traditional clothes worn on Deepavali day. Okay, not only that, Chris, okay. our most favorite part yes. is the food. Yes, okay. the food. Okay. On Deepavali, the most famous food is the Muruku. Okay, Muruku is the traditional uh, Indian uh, dish yep. on Deepavali. And we also have Ladu. Ladu. Ladu is also traditional Indian dish. And we have some sweets ah, and snacks can you for see all Deepavali. These? Yes, wow. we have a few types of uh, snacks with different different names. Yeah, okay, some people uh, uh, call this jalebi. In other uh, places, they call with some other names. Ah. And we also make cookies. Yes, uh, cookies. Yes, the Deepavali cookies, the biscuits oh. on Deepavali. Wow. Okay. Okay. Teacher. So what am I wearing? This is a jipa, right? Yes, you're wearing a jipa. Okay, okay. So jipa. So now I understand some of the words that we frequently use for festival or flights. Yes. Is it okay if we try some after this? Sure, Chris. Okay. You but can in try. But in the meantime, can we take a short break while we try? Sure. Okay, for our friends watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on Praskola Direct TV KPM. Okay, on the Muruku. KPM. Hello everyone. Are you ready for today's English lesson? If you're ready, raise your hands. Yay! Okay, everyone is ready. And today, we will be learning about Festival of Lights together with Teacher Krishna. All right, Teacher, what are we going to be learning next, Teacher? Okay, Chris, as I told you earlier, we are going to uh, listen to a story uh, about a boy uh, about how a boy celebrates a uh, festival of lights with his family. Okay, everyone get ready for story time. Okay. Festival of lights. Okay. Today is Deepavali. It is called festival of lights. Mom wakes me up early. I take an oil bath. Mom, dad and my sister also take oil baths. We wear new clothes. Dad wears jippa and dhoti. Mom wears sari. My sister Devi wears pavade and blouse. I wear jippa and pants. Dad takes us to the temple. After we pray, we come back home. It's breakfast time. Mom cooks chicken curry, tose and idli. We eat our breakfast. Knock, 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 knock. Somebody is here. I open the door. My friends Hazik and Yunin are here. They want to celebrate Deepavali too. I invite them, I, I invite them in. Wow, my favorite sweet is here. I love Ladu, says Yunin. I love Muruku, says Hazi. They enjoy the food. They eat tose and chicken curry too. They like mom's cooking. At night, we light up oil lamps outside the house. Davy and I play firecrackers. We are very happy. The festival of lights is so fun. The end. The end. Yay. Teacher, I have a question. Sure, Krish. Ask Why, me. What is an oil bath? Why do we take oil baths on okay. Deepavali? We take oil bath to clean ourselves because oil bath remove dead cells um, and then it cleans your body. But according to uh, the old people, the, the 
um, Indian people, they yeah. believe that taking oil bath can clean yourself from bad habits to ah. make you be a good person. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. And what are some of the clothings that this family wore, teacher? Okay, so as I said before, what are the, the man wears jipa and dhoti. How about the girl, the ah. little girl? The little girl wore a pavade. Yes, pavade. And, and the mom wore a sari, like teacher Very is wearing. Very good, yes. I'm wearing a sari here. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Okay, now Chris. Yep. Since you have heard the story just now. Yes. Okay, can you see the board in front, uh, beside you? This one, teacher? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, we call that a flow map. Okay, oh. now I want you to sequence the story you heard just now. Okay, uh, mm. look at the pictures in front of you and then you choose which picture uh, comes first. Which activity comes first in the story? Okay. So... Alright everyone, can you help me out with this activity? I hope you were listening to the story that teacher was sharing earlier. Okay, let's see. There are six pictures over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I take oil bath. My friends are here. We wear new clothes. We play firecrackers. We eat our breakfast. And we light oil lamps. Okay. So, teacher, I'm supposed to arrange the pictures according to the story that you told yes. earlier, earlier, right? You have to mm. uh, look at the picture and arrange it accordingly. Okay, okay. So, how about you? What do you think is the first picture? Mm. What did the boy do when he wakes up in the morning. Ah, okay. I think this is the first picture. I take oil baths. Very okay. good. So I'm going to stick it okay. over here. Okay. Is this correct? Yeah? Okay. I believe you. Okay, I take oil bath. And the next one... Teacher, we'll check the answer together later, right? Yes, yes. Okay, the next one. Um, after he takes his oil bath, we need to wear clothes. Very so, good. let's see. Over here, we wear new clothes. Okay, so this should be number two. Okay, because the arrow is pointing this way. Okay, we wear new clothes. Hmm, let's see. What else do we do after that? We wear new clothes. Mm. Oh, is it we light oil lamps? Mm. Do you light oil lamps uh, in uh, the morning? No, maybe not. This should be at night. Yes. Okay. So what do you do mm. in the morning? What <gasps> did the boy do in the morning? We need to have our breakfast. Yeah. This is the most important meal of the day. Okay, we eat our breakfast okay and after that we ah, we invite our friends over so my friends are here Yunyin and Hazik right yes Yunyin and Hazik okay hi Yunyin hi Yazik everyone say hi Yunyin hi Hazik okay and we have two more so we have we light oil lamps and we play firecrackers hmm which one do we do first? I think, according to the story that teacher shared, we light oil lamps. Yes, okay. very good, Chris. And, okay, over here. And the last one is, of course, we play firecrackers. Do you like to play firecrackers? Okay, if you are playing firecrackers, please be safe, okay? Always do it with the supervision of adults. So this is the last one. Okay, teacher, I have finished the flow chart. Okay. Can you please check my answers, our answers? Very good, Chris. You have got all correct with the help of your friends at home. Okay, this is what we do uh, on Deepavali Day. We take uh, oil bath. I take oil bath after uh, uh, we take oil bath and then we wear new, new clothes. clothes. Okay, after that, uh, we go to the temple, we come back and we eat our breakfast. Mm. And then, when we invite our friends, our friends will come after that. So, my friends are here. Okay, the boy's friends are here. 
after that at night we light our oil lamps to brighten up uh, our house and then after that we play firecrackers as you said just now Chris we have to be very careful when we play firecrackers and we should play firecrackers under our parents or adults supervision okay so we got Correct, right, teacher? All yes. correct? Yes. Yes, good job. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right. Looks like it's time for another snack. Teacher, is it okay if we take a short break? Sure, Chris. Okay, friends, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back only on Prasakola, Direct TV, KPM. See you after this. KPM. Hmm. Hey. Oh. Hi, hi everyone. Okay, I can put this back here first. Hi. Welcome to Prasakola on D Day TV. My name is Chris M J, and today we are learning Bahasa Inggris on the topic of Festival of Lights. And I'm here together with Teacher Krishna. Okay, Teacher. We are so excited. Are you excited? If you're excited, give me a double thumbs up. Wow. Okay, everyone is ready. Well, teacher, what are we going to be learning next, teacher? Okay, now we are going to be making the column. <gasps> you were asking oh, me just yes. now, Chris, when you came to my open house, you asked me, uh, what, what is, is a column? column? Okay, yeah. a column is a decorative item made on the floor okay. uh, using um, rice flour, uh, using colored rice, mm. okay, we have different types of column, oh. okay. This column here uh, is made of uh, colored rice. Colored rice, yes. okay. Let's take a look at the colors that we have today, teacher. Sure, sure. So sure. we have yellow, we have orange, what else do we have? We have purple, purple. we have green color, we have red, and one more we have blue okay teacher besides rice mm -hmm. what else can we use can we use seeds as well okay Do people usually use? Yeah. we use uh, colored rice okay. and also uh, rice flour ah. and also uh, column made of uh, flowers we don't use like uh, other seeds we don't use uh, stones marbles ah. okay column is made uh, from rice because uh, we Indian believe that when we make column outside the house, uh, it helps the ants and the insects to come and eat. Wow. So we feed them. Okay. So is everyone ready to design our own column, teacher? Is yeah. everyone ready at home? Okay. So what are we going to do now, teacher? Okay. Now we have to choose, pick any color. This column is the very simple uh. one. Okay. Usually we have to draw the column. Okay. But for you today, Chris, oh. I have bring a ready-made column. So let's pick a color and put on the column here, and okay. we spread the rice. Let's go. So what? It looks like a picture of a peacock. Is that right, teacher? Yes, it's a peacock. Oh. Okay. So everyone, what sh what color should we use? For the body of the peacock. Hmm. Let's go with orange. Or green. Okay, let's go with green. Okay. So, so just I just pour inside pour it, this. Just... Uh, pour it a little bit. Okay. okay. And then just pour oh, it inside. Is... Yes. Okay. Then here also same picture? Um, oh. Is it the same part? Yes, it's the same oh, part. Okay. It's the body. Okay, okay. then we can put... So I put green here. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so fun! Okay, this is my first time doing column, teacher. Actually, the column should be covered with rice, ah. but since we don't have uh, much rice... Oh, okay, so, okay. Uh -huh. It's okay. As long as we get the chance to try so it. it's supposed to be like, okay, let's say I'm using this okay, blue so, color here. So, oh. You just put it like this. So let's color the, the, the feathers with blue color. Uh -huh. Oh. So we'll just then we spread, spread it out. Her. 
Okay. Uh, rise to close that part. Wow, teacher. Yes. Look at that. To be like this. Okay, okay. Hmm. What else do we have? Okay, we have yellow, we have orange, we have purple and red. Okay, so what color should we use for the other peacock feather? Hmm. Red. Okay. Oh, they want red. They want red. Okay, okay let's go with red. So, teacher, I'll try okay, this again. Okay, try here. Okay. Just pour slowly. Okay. Then we can spread it out? Yes, yeah, spread the colour. Okay, is it enough or should we add more? You have to cover it like cover this. Cover it like this, yes. okay. Yes. Alright, all in. Then we spread it out. Yes. Okay, maybe teacher can help me spread because okay. you seem like an expert at this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. We need, oh. that's why we need uh, a lot of... A lot uh, of patience. <laughs> yes. And... A lot of patience, you cannot rush this, and a lot of coloured rice as well. Okay, mm -hmm. we have another one, two, three. Three more colours and we have three more feathers. So what should we colour the next feather? We have blue, we have red. Mm, teacher, can we go with yellow? Sure, sure. Okay. Where do you want to put the yellow? I want to put the yellow, this okay. one, in this feather. Okay. I'll try to spread the rice. Okay, this rice... It's not to be eaten, right? No. Okay, just for that to, to decorate the column. Okay. Oh, you. This rice is Looks to like be I'm, eaten. I don't even have enough patience. <laughs> okay. So it's okay. slowly, slowly. Okay. Ah. Yes. We <laughs> cover all the empty spaces. Here. Yes. Are you having fun? I'm having a lot of fun. Teacher, what is the meaning? Why do we even do column, teacher? Okay. As I said before, column is made. Uh, to feed the insects, okay. that's why we use rice. But in some uh, houses, Beliefs, uh, some, yes, some believe uh, we have to use. Uh, uh, we, we make column to uh, bring good luck into ah. our house. That's why we always have column uh, in our uh, front. Uh, I see. I yeah, see. Of our house. So we are doing column now. Means we bring good luck to Didi yes. TV. Is yes. That? <laughs> okay. It's a good luck for Didi TV. Okay. So we have two more. So which colour should we use? We got orange and we got purple. So which one should we use for this feather? Orange, purple? Orange! Okay, let's go with orange. Okay. Wow, it looks so colourful, teacher. <laughs> okay. That, that's why in some places they call it rangoli. Rangoli means a colourful column. Oh, rangoli. Yes. We have a column from a rice flour also. It's just plain white. Okay. Uh, and then we have a column from flowers. They use colourful flowers also. Mm. That one for decorative decorative purpose. Mm. Okay, okay. Look at our rangoli. Very nice, very nice. Wow. This is such a fun experience. I've never tried this before, teacher. Wow. It's very okay. fun. You can even create your own column. You can draw on a piece of paper ah. and you can colour the rice, wow. dry it. Uh, it might take a few days for the rice to dry. Okay. And you can have a nice column. All right. And the last one, everyone. The purple. Okay. Oh, you. Slowly, slowly. Remember, we have to have a lot of patience, patience, right, teacher? Patience, yes. Okay. Slowly put the rice, coloured rice in. And then we spread it out. Yes. Okay. Wow, we have become a master now, Chris. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, because you have guided me very, very well. Okay. Wow. Take a look at that, everyone. How is this? Is this good? Yeah, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. It's good. <laughs> it's good. Awesome. Uh, yeah, the, the, the reason, teacher, is because we didn't have enough, yes, enough green. green. But it's okay. This is... Uh, for my first time, how, what, how many marks would you give me? You know, what, what would you rate this out of five stars? For your first time, I'll give you four out of five. Five? Four out of five? Yes, you did a good job. Yes, yes four out of five. Give everyone a round okay. of applause. For next time, we'll have more green rice. Mmm, okay. So, uh, just to share, remember everyone, look, let's take a look at our column. So for the peacock, the body of the peacock, we use green colour. And then for the feathers, we have blue, we have red, we have yellow, 
we have orange, and last but not least, we have purple. purple. All right. Okay, teacher. Looks like we have reached the end of today's episode. Time flies when we're having fun, yes. is that what they say? But maybe you could share with us a summary of what we all learned today about Festival of Lights, teacher. Okay. Festival of Lights is all about uh, lights and colourful uh, items, uh, delicious food, um, mm. a variety of clothes. So today we learn about what, uh, what we do uh, in, on Deepavali day, from morning until night. Uh, the highlight is uh, the new clothes, the food, and also lighting up the lights. Festival oh. of Lights means um, lots of lights to light up our lives. Oh. And teacher, why do we light up the candles, teacher? Like what okay. does that symbolize or mean? Okay, uh, some people say uh, you are lighting up the lights just to uh, bring brightness to the house. Mm. But actually, we believe that when you light up a lamp, it doesn't only uh, brighten up your house, it, only, uh, it also brightens up your day, your family. Okay, it makes you happy. Wow, is everyone happy today? If you're happy, give me a big smile. Yay! All right, and with that, I'd like to say thank you very much, Teacher Krishna, for today's lesson of Festival of Lights. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and we will see you again only on DDA TV KPM. Bye, everyone! Bye.